Hello and welcome to Dells Gaming and I am in the From the Depths Designer because it is build time again and I'm just hanging out on the front whilst I am reviewing the loading and testing of some of the latest equipment and uh, armament sent from the Dells R&D department uh, for testing specifically against the Deepwater Guard. So we've uh, been testing some uh, some uh, weaponry just to give a, a, an idea of what we can do. But um, I think in this particular episode, after the latest battles, what I think would be a good vehicle um, is... We've got two. One is uh, I'd like to build a, a big ship, but I might do that uh, next just for the fi final... Uh, section in the meantime something that actually was asked for before was a basic sub let me just get that block out of the water so that will basically act as our uh, go out as a little a pack and um, take out the enemy vehicles well ships mainly of course and do a bit of scouting ahead what we've got coming ahead of us so Submarines, following the theme of that I have so far, we're going to look at some of the early style of submarines that were available to um, um, uh, the world's navies and, and build on them uh, as we go through. So, original submarines, a lot of early submarines were really more submersibles. They were more boats that could go underwater rather than being a, a, a really a sub as you in the modern style that we would um, think of think of them so they were still um, primarily designed to run on the surface most of the time um, for speed um, efficiency often their their um, uh, engines were some of the early ones were steam engines and they'd have a steam engine building up pressure which would then use that pressure to power them under the water later uh, then they, there came batteries and you had a petrol engine or diesel engine that was on the surface which would then power up the batteries for use underwater but the underwater speed would not be the same as the um, above water speed and I'm going to follow that type of basis, I think, that particular version. And we'll have a, a, a submarine with three, um, possibly as many as three modes. We'll have the on-the-surface, long-range um, uh, cruising mode. Uh, so it, it, there's no enemies around and it will just go on the surface and um, travel reasonably quickly. Also in surface mode, um, we'll give it so that if the enemy is a small enemy, uh, we'll try and work something out on that, it will actually engage with guns on the surface. Uh, possibly either when they're at range or um, when if they're small enough, etc. Well, I'll see what I can work on that particular version. Um, then there will be the sort of just below the surface uh, periscope height depth which will be the main attack height for torpedoes against the enemy so it will just go at the torpedo um, height and then finally we might have a, a crash dive if, if someone gets very close it will dive to the bottom and then go go deep as such not too deep but deep enough to to get away from any guns that are being shot at it close range um, potentially um, and we'll see how that see that how that goes um, while we're going through the video I will also possibly put some markings well I try to put markings in the comments uh, sec section or in the description of some of the control elements of subs um, in the game there is a number of ways that people make subs um, number one is the forced sub or the pusher sub as I, uh, I call it in the they use the speed of the sub to force it underwater using hydrofoils but the sub is naturally uh, buoyant so without power it will surface uh, way i prefer is one which is a mixture you have um, the air pumps which actually define your buoyancy and partially define your long term um, are you going to go on the surface or down 
hold a, a mid-level, you know, uh, your air pumps will define your buoyancy and move you up and down in a, in a slow manner. Um, and then your hydrofoils will give you thrust, uh, sorry, nose down, so your thrust is pushing you down if you want to crash dive or, or come to the surface. So it will be a finer control of the um, height. So the air pumps are used as a general height range and the, the uh, hydrofoils used as a more accurate sort of uh, keeping it within a smallish range. Um, that is what the aim is. But I'll also try to make this more... Well, I say more similar make this in the, the theme we have followed which is early style of um, airships with some of the limitations that you get with early um, submarines so I am building limitations it, yeah we could make a, a really big uh, ICBM typhoon class later this is going to be a a early type of within a uh, submarine we might have a few of them working in a bit of a pack although you know the packs only really came in in later um so i'm gonna have a bit of fun so anyway hope you enjoy this and i'll see you back when we're ready to blow some stuff up And sitting here on the command area of the sub, we're just having a look through the periscope and having a look at the ship we've ended up with. Gave it a little of a paint job because it was looking a little sad with just all the metal, so I thought I'd give it a little paint. So um, the ended up, it's generally walk through. We got two AIs, we have the helm controls up the front, and through this door we have the torpedo area. Uh, with the torpedo tubes with the main armament and plenty of ammo um, going down the back uh, we have the sonar and weapon control um, in here and then we have the vertical missile bay 
at the moment uh, this is mainly for anti-air um, but you know just for vertical missiles so they can fire out and get uh, air targets and then in the back finally we have the uh, diesel engines so these are they're not high performance and they turn off when it un goes underwater um, and the battery the battery at the back is uh, provides most of the power once we're underwater and when we're on the surface as we are now because there's no enemy around we're doing a little 14 uh, nearly 15 meters a second so you know that's okay for a cruising speed and then once we go underwater obviously the batteries will cut in and it will go a little bit slower weapons wise we've got a nice little uh, 179 millimeter gun with direct feeds on them with quite some powerful shells although it doesn't fire very fast it's not its primary um, attack method but uh, it adds a little damage and it looks good and the little machine gun I was working on on the back with a fairly high rate of fire the shells are okay it's just more uh, a, a close-in anti-air defense again with uh, direct feeders it, it works reasonably as a 30 millimeter um, so yep yeah, not unhappy with that but very short uh, sh shells so it fires reasonably quickly the primary missiles uh, this was the main missiles for this uh, system which is a lot of explosive and frags and they go underneath the target and hopefully blow the bottom out and at the back are some shorter range ones uh, these are just a six long uh, with target prediction these are more designed for uh, close range if a ship's got close then it will start to use those particular missiles so let's try it against something like a um, we'll start with the old good old marauder now this is designed to stay at distance uh, but we'll see how it how it uh, progresses so as the enemy vessel is detected by the visual sensors on uh, the mast and also sonar it launches its torpedoes and opens up with the gun because it's at a fair range just at this moment the ship is also the ship the sub has also gone down enough just to keep the guns out of the water at this range to minimize its profile in general so if we now go and have a look at the missiles which are making their way these are a long range missiles they've got a range near the 5000 type of mark uh, they're not especially fast but they pack a wallop which was the, the intention of this particular uh, torpedo now normally where I will put these torpedoes in as a pack of them rather than singly um, so that one would be the spotter and uh, the others would uh, be able to torpedo at long range it has a number of weaknesses it's not a perfect submarine because I have given it purposeful weaknesses um, similar to what would be correct at this time so the engines turn off and it only relies on battery once the um, uh, it goes underwater uh, the visual also it's the visual sensors will stop working so it has to rely on sonar and here the missiles come in and you'll notice yes, they all hit low underneath or very close one one did just get blown off course but they hit all very low down um, the idea is that they they explode at or under the keel the high speed missiles will still hit the normal size but these ones purposefully uh, that one got blown away by the concussion uh, but they purposely hit the underside of the ship and they have the frags which fire upwards to damage components inside the uh, ship once it's within about 15 1600 meters you see the AI is now dead um, the smaller missiles will um, hit it about more the waterline so it has gone down to periscope depth now that the enemy has um, been removed it 
comes back up to the surface and recharges the battery. So the diesel engines in the back here only run when it is on the surface. Uh, when it goes underneath it relies totally on the battery so it has quite a large battery um, component. And just to show some of the other diving facilities, because it has a couple of other emergency dive situation, um, which will be relevant, especially with aircraft. So we've put up some aircraft to uh, go up against it. So the enemy has spawned in, or I have spawned in some dusters and a drake. So initially the Saab is going down to its combat depth. There we are, just keeping the guns just out of the water. Now, because they are under 2,000, it's now going down to periscope depth and firing missiles at the uh, flyers. So it will go down, just keeping the visual sensors out of the water so it can spot the enemy and keep, still keep firing at the missiles. Once they get within a very close range, it will then dive down, which hopefully if it doesn't destroy all of the enemy, there's, there we go. I think it's, is it quite, not quite there, it's doing quite well at destroying them at this moment. And now one of the uh, dusters has got close, they did get some missile shots in, but it's now diving down to its uh, emergency depth. Uh, the torpedo, the uh, periscope has been pulled down, it's continuing to uh, move on. And we're down to 50 meters and diving, still going down, 55. So. Because it has no radar sensors, sensor boys, which I could use, but I didn't think they were in keeping with the thing, because you didn't have radar at that time. It will just basically dive down, and if it does find something due to the snooper, if that's using a, um, radios, then it can still detect it roughly, not very accurately, but at least roughly. So we're down to 88 meters is and it can repair and it's still going to be firing its missiles up whilst trying to evade and get away from the enemy now this isn't a stealth ship it still has got active sensors so and its own radios so it can be detected So we're down to about the 97, 90 um, meters. It's still the, the vertical launch missiles are still firing and able to track the target at this depth. And now that it's been taken out, um, it's starting to come back up to the surface where it will then start replenishing its battery by putting the engine up to full. It might just do a slight breach because it's a crash um, not a crash dive it's the opposite um, it did a full blow for want of a better word so the um, uh, all the ballast tanks went to 100% and the, the, the uh, hydrofoils so now you can see the battery is charging up again ready for the dive next time okay I think that's it's, it's, it's a reasonable ship it's not perfect in any way um, it is in th keeping with the theme of early uh, vessels which um, I have set myself for the deep water guard. We'll do some maybe larger ones, ICBMs, Typhoon style ones later on in the, in the campaign against larger enemies. 
This will go out as a pack, I think. Uh, four or five of them. One up ahead is a scout, and then a number of others arranged around so that they can fire the missiles in at range. Anyway, as always, leave the comments below. Um, there's a few bits I'm I could do the gun a little bit better I think but it was just a it's just a little extra I think the torpedoes are the main weapon in this particular case um, I quite like the diving ability of it and the fact that it goes from the surface and then only goes down under certain conditions um, but let me know what you think as always keep playing the game and above all have fun <laughs>